Hello and welcome. This is FSX and this is the Boeing 777, one of my all-time most favorite aircraft. In this video I would like to show you something called the flight level change trap. Now this has actually uh, been pointed to as one of the main contributors for the Asiana 777 crash in San Francisco but um, the final report hasn't been released yet so I'm not going to talk any more about that because at the moment we just don't have all the facts. So we are here over the Atlantic. I've positioned us out here to make sure if things go wrong we don't kill anyone on the ground. We are at 18,000 feet and as you can see I have put the aircraft into the landing configuration. We're currently holding an airspeed of 170 knots, flaps 30 and gear down. Now in this video I assume that you are familiar with flight level change and how it works and what it does. If you're not then please um, look it up first otherwise what's about to happen is not going to make much sense to you. So first of all we're going to do something uh, and it shouldn't be that unusual. So we're going to set the altitude to 16,000 feet and I'm going to press flight level change. Now, as expected, the thrust levers move back into the idle position and the aircraft will use the pitch to hold the airspeed, which is selected, which is 170 knots. So nothing unusual there. Um, I am now going to switch off the autopilot. and I'm going to fly this manually. So my job as the pilot now is to hold 170 knots whilst the aircraft will keep the engines at idle or thereabouts making sure uh, we do not stall. So we just keep the descent going, there's 16,000 feet so we'll uh, pull the nose up, level off and if you look at the engines you can see that they're spooling up making sure that we hold that speed and there we are 16,000 feet 170 knots. So far so good. Now we're going to do the exact same thing again but this time we'll be switching on the flight director and that will be the only difference between now and before. So flight director's on I'm going to set an altitude of 8,000 feet and once again we'll be pressing flight level change. The engines are spooling back, thrust levers are going back to idle, nice and gentle. The aircraft has started its descent. Autopilot is coming off and I have control of the aircraft. Note that once again I have not switched off the auto thrust uh, so the aircraft is still in control of the auto thrust. Now the aircraft expects me to follow the flight director but what happens if for example I feel well this descent is a bit too steep for me I don't like it or maybe I, I feel I'm too low and uh, therefore decide not to follow the flight director. So um, we're gonna actually pitch up now pretending that let's say we're flying an approach and we feel that we're a bit too low and we're just going to ignore the flight director and uh, let's see what happens. So we are just about leveling off here and watch the speed decay. We have a low speed warning but nothing happens. The engines still remain in idle. Approaching 140 knots, still no power it's getting rather serious now, approaching 130 knots, still no power, 125 knots, still no power. Okay, we are now in a stall, we are descending rather rapidly, no power whatsoever, engines still in idle. Okay, I'm going to break the stall, still no power. 
Okay, auto thrust off. I have control. We're gonna recover. Nice and gentle. Gonna go fly straight and level. Adjust the thrust. And there we are. We are recovered. Okay, so at this altitude, I mean, it's not ideal, but um, it's not a, a, a huge problem. But you can imagine if this happens somewhere close to the ground, uh, this could uh, have rather devastating results. The other thing, of course, to bear in mind is that we knew what was going to happen. We were expecting to uh, fly into a stall. If this uh, catches you out unawares, then of course it's going to take you one or two seconds to figure out what's going on. Uh, before you even react. So that begs the question, uh, what can you do to avoid this? Well, um, first and foremost, Boeing and any training organization I've ever spoken to do not recommend that you switch off the autopilot but leave the autofrust system engaged. Uh, Boeing's philosophy seems to be you either fly it manually or you don't. So this hybrid flying of you fly but the aircraft takes care of the engines, um, it's possible but it's really uh, not recommended. And the, the other thing of course is the closer you get to the ground the more aware you need to be of your airspeed. Um, of course on the real aircraft there are two pilots, one is the pilot flying, the other one is the pilot monitoring and the pilot monitoring will keep a very close eye on all the param parameters including speed and will uh, shout out if the speed decays too much. Now on this simulator you are on your own so it's your job to make sure the speed stays within limits and the closer you are to the ground the more important this becomes. Speed is your friend and the more friends you have the safer you will be. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you learned something today. Stay safe and um, until next time, all the best.